this mirror is fifteen dollars. Look how intricate and detailed they are. It's gorgeous. I saw this exact one at the thrift store. I should have bought it. This one is so pretty. I have been waiting almost a year and a half for this day. <laughs> The last time I went to the Rose Bowl flea market, it was February 2020, the month before you know what. If you don't know, the Rose Bowl flea market is one of the largest flea markets in the United States. It's about 5.45 right now and it's about 30 minute drive. A must have when you go to a flea market like this is a cart. You do not want to be hauling everything. The car is way too far. You're going to stay here. Yeah, they don't allow puppers in there. She's just a small town girl raised in the south. Dreams with no one to see what she's all about. I think maybe everyone is very excited to come to the Rose Bowl since it's only been open for this is the third month now, so April, May, and June. This is the most people we have seen here in we've been coming to the Rose Bowl for years. But we're parked so far this early, especially. So hopefully we'll find some good stuff. Hi, team. Two, please. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. And hang on to the re-entry, okay? Okay, thank, thank you. you. Have a good time. There you go. Have a good day. Lots of vendors are still setting up. It's been so long since I've been here, I forgot my routine, like where I start. I was like, wait, where do I go? So I'm gonna kind of start at the front of the home decor stuff and then work my way down. It's basically the Rose Bowl is split into three sections. There's like the newer stuff around the actual Rose Bowl itself. And then there's a home decor section next to it. And then there's the clothing across the bridge. So it's really big. This is where I get the beads that I love. I love. I have these too. So pretty. We made it to the back. So this is where we're gonna start. I'm also sure that there's so many new vendors and people that I've never seen before. How much for this frame here? 40. Oh, 40. Good, how are you? Fine, thank you. How much do you want for this? I do 25. Can you do 20 for it? I just have to uh, fix it. I'm taking 25 and it's back my ass at 40. Because it's, it's very crap. 20. 20. You too. a good size right there. <laughs> oh, look at that dictionary. I'm gonna start my weekend out right. Don't The frame is crazy. The whole art print is crazy. Gosh, it'd be beautiful and like very Victorian. There's also always a lot of vendors here with like a lot of reclaimed wood furniture that they build. I wanted a DIY table for a while, all reclaimed wood, but I never had the space for it. I love this. 
Thank you so much, kid. Thank Appreciate you, I love it. it. Good luck today. Thank you, you too. Yeah, hit it early and go home or it's gonna get hot today. It's the only way to do it. Gosh, the art here is just so good. Look how beautiful that Malibu Cove is and the frame. Pretty dress. We're playing with football in the sand while we're listening to our favorite band. I would have actually been looking for silverware. Like, I didn't know if I wanted to do vintage silverware or have a few pieces. Look how intricate and detailed they are. Look at these vintage like pendant lights. I'm very into the idea of changing out the light in the laundry room. It's crystal. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's a pendant. So pretty. As you go, How much are you asking for this one? I still feel like I'm letting go of you. My mom actually needs a whole bunch of frames for a project that she's working on. I'm not sure why these are all tied together. I still feel like I'm letting go of you. I still feel like I'm letting go of you. I saw this exact one at the thrift store. Well, I probably messed up. I should have bought it. It was waterfall. so much I feel like I can make such a cool table out of these. We've got them for 15 or for all four. 
use a candlestick along the back. I want to find a rug for the laundry room, but you know how picky I am about the coloring. I want it to have some jewel tones in it, but like more in the green family. This rug is so pretty. It's not gonna be cheap though. This is the busiest that I have ever seen the Rose Bowl and we've been coming here forever. We kind of knew it was going to be busy because of where we had to park at like 6 30 this morning. The line to get in now, you see the cars coming down? Never! There are so many people inside. I had some friends coming too to shop. They waited an hour just to get to the parking lot and then there was no parking. Over the past year and a half, I've definitely forgot what it was like to go to the Rose Bowl. Thrift shopping, flea market shopping, finding things secondhand or vintage or just incredibly unique is always part of my room makeover process or my kind of like decorating process. I love to pick specific pieces and then kind of build the room around it. So this trip really turned into like part one or the first step in redoing our laundry room. So this is the space that I'm gonna be working on a lot this week. I have a lot of ideas and these pieces actually helped me go in the right direction when I'm picking colors, more specific design details in addition to all of the storage and functionality that I'm gonna be trying to work into this space. Space. going to be working on that a lot this week so definitely stay tuned for part two coming this weekend so I was looking for framed art my mom painted me some very special art to go into that space I did found one that actually is the right size got it for 20 bucks because there are definitely some things that I need to fix on it I think I can create the bead little detail and then gold leaf it or put some gold rub on it to make it all just look a little more polished. So I'm gonna clean it up. I've already tested it with the bigger art and it totally works. This is a little more ornate than I wanted to go. We'll see when the room starts to come together. I have some frames that I can play with, but for 20 bucks for this big of a frame, it's definitely worth it even though I do have to do some work on it and it's damaged. And then aside from my mom painting amazing art, I do love to find framed pieces of art, especially when they're a little bit Parisian. I found these two in my entryway that I love. It's a pair of this just French scene with the carriage, with the horses, and just people walking through the streets. So when I saw this one, I was like, ah, this is, this is really, really nice. I don't know who the artist is, but it was a beautiful frame. So since the laundry room and the breakfast nook are literally right next to each other, I wanna carry that same look. So I was definitely looking for the same types of frames, even though this one will stay as is. I'm not removing the art in this one at all. We'll find a special place for her. And then, this pot! Only thing that I can gumption enough to say because I'm not a negotiator, I never will be, I can't change, I've accepted it. The thing I will ask is what's your best price on whatever I'm looking at? So I asked him, I was like, what's your best price on this pot? And he looked down and he was like, 15? He's like, wow, $15 is a really good price. And I'm like, it really is. This is a huge, look how big this pot is. It's heavy, it's not chipped, it's in really good condition. And it's just a perfect kind of like warm gray color. You could use it for so many things. For $15, I have to take this. So I got this, I got it for 15 bucks. I've actually been eyeing some turned wood like this. I don't think a lot of people have much use for them except for people that want to make furniture. So I found a set of four, four legs. And he wanted 20, but I, I asked him what his breast price was and he said 15. I think that they're a little bit vintage because they have, for lack of a better word, a foot attachment. So it can kind of position at an angle if you wanted to. So if I wanted the table the legs to kind of kick out like that, I could. I can see us making a really, really, really cool table for either here or in the cottage. And then I was on a mission for rugs. I always look at the Turkish rugs and the Persian rugs, and all of the vintage ones, all of the new ones. And what's really difficult about those rugs is picking the right color and ha finding one in the color that you not only like, that's going to kind of last time because they are an investment piece. But Kinsley is like, rubbing her face on she clearly loves it i have been looking at these for years i go to the same vendors there i look through all of the pieces i try and find rugs that i really like like the turkish one that's underneath our coffee table i actually ordered on etsy because i couldn't find that size so i did order it on etsy which was super scary because you can't see the color in person there's no you know it did have a little bit of a blush tone coming through it which wasn't a huge fan of but overall it was a really pretty 
Harmony rug. Reason that I went ahead and invested in this particular rug is that it has all of the jewel tones that kind of go with everything that I ever do. In this house, the cottage, I can see this in a future home, kept in good shape. This can just last forever. It was so much fun going back to the Rose Bowl, you guys. Unfortunately, I will miss probably the next couple or I can plan some trips back to LA around the same time as the Rose Bowl, which is the second Sunday of every month. And then Long Beach Flea Market is also good at it. It's the third Sunday of every month. It's smaller, but it has really, really, really great home decor. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and shopping for the laundry room. We did find some, of course, I always shop for other pieces. So you are not going to want to miss this Sunday's video, which is the laundry room makeover. And then to see how I transform this into a table. I'm super excited about it. So hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload every week. And also on my vlog channel, if you like this style of video where I go shopping and we do a haul at the end, I do a lot of that over on my vlog channel from flea markets to thrift stores and everything else when I'm kind of shopping for different projects or I'm gearing up for a big room makeover I'll share the shopping videos over there so you should go check that out too and I will see you guys again next Sunday bye guys bring me a baby oh thank you give it to me so I can play with you <laughs> bye guys my weekend down right gonna live it up in my downtown i got a new